okay, going to go through and debunk this Roman Catholic heresy of venial and mortal sin, these two different definitions of sin they have. And basically how the Catholic Church defines this, this heresy, how they define these two different, these supposed different types of sin, is actually ironically the same way uh, these, a lot of these street preaching groups do. And I've said this in past videos, but a lot of these street preaching groups are preaching Roman Catholicism out on the streets. They're going out and preaching Catholic heresies. Uh, when they go out and they'll say, well, yeah, we, well, we, we condemn Catholics. We go out to, you know, preach against Catholics. Yeah, but they're preaching Catholic heresies. I've shown that in past videos. But the Catholic Church defines basically venial mortal sin as essentially willful sin, which is mortal sin, and basically sins done through ignorance, which is uh, venial sin. And I said, you know, before, it's ironically the same way how the street preachers define it, because they're preaching Catholicism. But I'm going to show you from the Catholic Catechism basically how they how they define it basically and, and prove that they define it this way and also scriptures that would be used to define the willful sin and also how to debunk this willful sin thing. So this is from the Catholic Church Cate Catechism paragraph uh, 1857. It says, For a sin to be mortal, three conditions must together be met. Mortal sin is sin whose object is grave, is grave matter and which is also committed with full knowledge and deliberate consent. So what they're saying is that it's basically a, a grave sin done basically through willfulness. You willfully commit this sin. It's done through, what is it, full knowledge and deliberate consent. So they're saying it's willful sin. And the scripture they, they'll use, and a lot of the street preachers will use to define this, is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. I've seen this verse used many, many times. This is how they define this whole willful sin thing. I'm going to show you how to, how to debunk them on that. Hebrews 10.26, For if we sin willfully, after, we, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. So they make it seem that, see, you know, you can sin willfully. It's willful sin there. I'm going to get to how to debunk them on that. But because the Bible teaches, because it says no one has no more sacrifice for sins, I'm going to show you that the Bible teaches there's a sacrifice for ignorant sins too. Because there's no, def, there's no, there's no differentiation between sins. All sin is negative. It's not like this willful and ignorant sin getting ahead of myself. But the Catholic Church, they define venial sin as basically sin done through ignorance. Catholic Church Catechism, paragraph 1862. One commits venial sin when, in a less serious matter, he does not observe the standard uh, prescribed by the moral law, or when he disobeys the moral law in a grave matter, but without full knowledge or without complete consent. So it's basically sins done through ignorance. Now, does the Bible teach that there's a sacrifice needed for ignorant sins? Yes, because again, all sin is negative. All sin will land you in the lake of fire. It's not, there's not this, this uh, oh, only, only the mortal sins will, will condemn you to hell, not the venial sins. It's heresy. Numbers chapter 15, verses 23 to 25. Even all that the Lord hath commanded uh, you by the hand of Moses, from the day that the Lord uh, commanded Moses, and henceforward among your generations, then shall it be, if aught be committed by ignorance, without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, uh, for a burnt offering, for a sweet savour unto the Lord, with this meat offering and his drink offering, according to the manner. And what and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, if for it is ignorance, and they shall bring their offering a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord, and their sin uh, sin offering before the Lord for their ignorance. So what do you have there? You have a sacrifice being done for sins out of ignorance. So there's no there's no different, and obviously this was back in the Old Testament, but still. Uh, it's showing that there's no differentiation between uh, willful sin and ignorant sin. Both sins uh, would require you to do an animal sacrifice to atone for that. So this thing of, oh, it's, it's willful sin, ignorant sin. No, it's heresy. All sin will land in the lake of fire. It doesn't matter if you're doing willfully, if you're doing it without consent. So it's, it's, it will land in the lake of fire. It's heresy to say there's different types of sin. And like I said before, it's interesting how a lot of these street preachers will do the same thing. They'll define, oh, well, there's sins that like you do knowingly, sins you do willfully, and sins you just do like out of ignorance. And they'll basically say that willful sins will make you lose your salvation, but, but ignorant sins won't, you know, ridiculous. And of course, they love to use Hebrews 10.26, which, you know, who is it written to? Hebrews, Jews. And who is it for? People in the time of Jacob's trouble. 
Why? Because people in time of Jacob's trouble can lose their salvation if they take the mark. And another thing to point out too is that um, you know a lot of the scriptures they use in the book of Hebrews, you know, they use a lot of scriptures in the book of Hebrews to say you can lose your salvation based on uh, willful sins, and a lot of those scriptures don't even talk about willful sins. You know, just a funny thing to point out, but again, it's written to Hebrews in the time of Jacob's trouble, Jews. Again, failure to rightly divide the word of truth, which a lot of these Catholics don't do. So, there you go. Um, this whole thing of willful and ignorant sin, it's false. It's a heresy. There's no All sin will land in a lake of fire. That simple. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. I do apologize that I wasn't the best at reading. I'm just not good at reading on a computer. It just hurts my eyes. Um, it's a problem. But anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.